Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about E cuts from Monster. MacroMonster.com. Somebody sent me an email or off one of my videos and asked if it would still work if you had some vector lines inside the object. And of course, as long as you have it grouped together, it just becomes one. So I've got 60 of these shapes is all I could put. Well, I could have tried a little more, but taking time to turn them upside, every other one upside down. But if you'll just take that and go to E-Cuts and go to the nesting and press apply and then hit okay, it put it in that much space. So about two thirds the size of your sheet. And I mean, it's got them really close. I mean, you could probably do that, but it would take you hours. So nesting is pretty cool when you need to do a lot of cutting. I wouldn't suggest to do this if you had engraving because the engraving is going to take a long time when it's not uh, equally across the board. But you could almost get a third more of these. Maybe let's, you know what, let's back up here and let's add a third more. and you could get this many more on your sheet. Now let's select that, go to E-Cuts, Nesting, hit Apply, and we got a third more and we still have room. So this could be very helpful to you. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.